Hi, I'm Carmen from the Singer Featherweight Shop. Today I want to talk to you about needles. Today I'm going to take you through the different aspects of the needle, explain needles that way, sizing and everything, but then we're also going to give you a fun demo to do at home. Let me just briefly go over the different parts that make up a sewing machine needle. Uh, this part right here, this is called the shank and most all modern uh, sewing machine needles would have a flat side on the shank like this does here. This whole entire piece down here is called the blade and as you will see here as I turn this over each needle has a groove on the one side and in that groove the thread lays in that groove. So that's why it's important that you use a proper size needle with the appropriate size thread so that it will lay in there not cause resistance as it's going through the fabric. It's going to help you have a proper uh, looking stitch by doing that. And then of course uh, you've got the point of the needle and then the eye of the needle here. And then on this other side, the same side as the, as the flat part of the, of the shank, you're going to have uh, a, a scarf, a cutout section right here. Uh, you can see that there if I turn it sideways. That's so on modern sewing machines, the hook passes very close to the needle and is actually going through that area right there as it's catching uh, the loop in the stitch formation process. Uh, what this part right here is actually called is Holkela. And it's a German word, it means uh, for like a concave or a hollowed out portion. And so you'll see on your modern needles, if you were to go to the store and buy some new Schmetz needles right here, you're going to see on the numbering that these right here, they say 130705. That's just a standard size sewing machine needle, which is what the, uh, the featherweight takes, most all the most of the other old vintage singers would take the same as well. But then it's got an H there, and that H is that German word, Hokela, and it means that it has that hollowed out portion there. So um, that is kind of the different parts to um, your sewing machine needle. A recent change that Schmetz has made is they are now color coding all of their needles. This is very helpful. You don't have to get the magnifying glass out anymore to see what size and type of needle you have. So it has a top band that is colored. And for example, the Microtex, that top band would be purple. And then the bottom band has to do with the size of the needle. And so over here we would see that like a common uh, one used for piecing would be a 7010 or probably an 8012. It's going to be like a green band or an orange band. Now what these numbers mean over here, uh, there's, it's uh, the standard kind of two number uh, system for uh, needle size. This first, the first number here, like the 80 here, means that this portion right here, the blade is 81 hundredths of a millimeter thick. And that also corresponds to the standard uh, US uh, needle size which would just be a standard 12. So that's why you see it being called an 8012 or a 7010. The 70 means that it's 71 hundredths of a millimeter thick, which is a size 10 needle. One of the reasons that we carry Schmetz needles here in the featherweight shop is because of how smoothly the eyes are finished off. To further illustrate the importance of a smoothly finished off eye, I'm going to show you a little demo that you can do at home that uh, really is kind of a lot of fun. What you'll need is put some scrap fabric in your machine, uh, some light colored thread at the top, and then get a black Sharpie marker. And you're going to want to make a black mark in this thread. So you can see it easy. Okay. After you have made the black mark on the thread, go ahead and sew with your machine very slowly just until the point where the black thread just starts to peek through the needle, the eye of the needle right there, and then stop. At this point, you want to start running your machine really slowly with the pedal or just turning it manually uh, with your hand. And 
count how many times the needle goes up and down as that black mark goes, passes through the eye of the needle each time the needle goes up and down. You can see that there. You'll see it easy on your machine at home. And you want to count how many times this happens until you actually lock that black mark into into the fabric. And here you can see it there, black mark. Amazingly, the thread goes back and forth through the eye of the needle, uh, usually between 40 and 50 times, depends on your length of your stitch, but if you're uh, if your stitch length is set at, say, 12, you know, like t for typical piecing, uh, it's going to happen almost 50 times that that thread is going to seesaw back and forth through the eye of that needle before it finally gets into the fabric. So as you're sewing, the thread is going to pass back and forth through the eye of the needle upwards of 50 times. If the eye is not finished off smoothly, you're going to get thread fraying, lint buildup, and possibly even broken threads. Something that can be very frustrating, especially if you don't know why it's happening. We recommend Schmetz Microtex needles because of the very thin acute point which creates beautiful top stitching. This is an excellent needle for quilt piecing, especially when using high thread count quilters cottons. Well, we hope you found this video tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, send us an email at info at singer-featherweight.com or chat with us on Facebook. Have a great day.